test real quick, see if we get any lag, see if we get any delay. I changed it to where now instead of running off the CPU, it should be running off of the GPU. You can't even spell that. I know, dude, it's difficult. You gotta get past, like, second grade for that, I think. So they start teaching you that kind of it's shit. more advanced. Yeah. But. This test turns into the actual podcast. Yeah, and then it's all fucked anyway. Right. Fuck right. The right. <laughs> I have to record a whole second grade podcast. No. I want to run this for at least, like, two minutes, bro. What? Well, I want to run this for at least two minutes. Just at least sure. two minutes? At least that, two minutes. You, that's how long you're usually... Lasting I mean, that's about two like minutes. Ten times what it, as long as they usually last. That you know? makes sense. Yeah. I feel like I can't I can hear myself, but I can't I can't hear myself the way I would like to hear myself. We really do need individual mics because imagine no, it's just it's the idea that we're podcasting. And so like I feel like right now being able to hear myself like this, it's much more clear. It, it's much I'm much more in tune with the vibe. I feel like the audio would be better for the people at home listening. And just overall, especially when I get like nice and raspy with it, you know, like morning. If we do like a morning show one time and like we're just sitting here sipping, which check out the mugs in the merch store. OK, you can get somebody's somebody's already fucking. But what you never know, dude, we might clip this in the fuck raid shadow legends. <clears throat> but the fucking, I am surprised I haven't got it. Update your compute, dude. This is why shit doesn't work, because you don't update computes, bro. What's that little fucking refresh thing with the yellow orange thing at the bottom? That's an update, dude. Update, update. Nah, see, that's why your shit doesn't run right. No, it doesn't. It 100% it doesn't does run not. Right it's a fucking dude, nah, because it was fine, and then all of a sudden it stopped, because you don't update shit. Because you don't update shit, and you don't fucking turn nothing off. It's just on forever. It wasn't. It was fine previously. No, because then once it gets out of date... Then we're going. We're going. We finally got the fucking Currently, right now, after fucking three hours, and then she's texting you in the middle of the fucking podcast, dude, every time. What did I do? Your phone, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, I can't be held accountable. For, it's fucking me. Kenny. Fucking Kenny. Kenny. He wants. To see you. There, uh, apparently, there's a company called Umbrella Corporation. Yeah. That exists in real life. Yeah. And sells gun stuff. Yeah. And he says, I want their bolt the carrier group forward assist and charging that. handle. I assume because it's all umbrella branded. Yeah. But. That's what Kenny just had to say. So shout out to Kenny. I thought you were going to talk about the other umbrella corporation that exists in real life. What is that? No, no that does exist yeah, in real does. life. And they, for real, well, they are changing doing colors to blue. Some, yes. Know, but it's literally the same thing. And, like, they're really doing zombie shit, bro. We should pull it up. We should, because it's for real, dude. What the fuck is the name of the place? Umbrella Corporation. <laughs> That's what the fuck. I'm pretty sure, like, type in real Umbrella Corporation. I have a picture of it, I think, saved on my phone, but I'd have to dig back for fucking ever, dude. It's Resident Evil being used, logo being used by a real life comp, dude. Yes, dude. To tell me this is not Umbrella Corporation doing some zom shit, bro. Tell me this is not real life. <laughs> Umbrella Corporation zombie shit, dude. Like, what what are, are they doing, bro? They literally just inverted biotechnologies, dude. It's great. Fucking zombies, dude. For real. Yeah. For real. They're cloning people. They're cloning animals. They're making viruses. They're yep. doing all types of fucked up weird shit in a lab somewhere. And we're funding it with our tax dollars. And like, cause it's a hundred percent, this is a fucking, they're doing it over in China or wherever the fuck, because you could do whatever the fuck you want over in China. Yep. And the U S government got their hand all up in this shit. I guarantee you. And there's for real fucking zombies out there, dude. We're seeing it today, dude. Look at all these fucking zombies that walk the streets now, dude. And they're not even trying to eat your brains, bro. No. Not yet. Well, half you gotta get your 87th booster shot. Yeah. It's fucking great, ain't it? But for real, that's fucking Zombs, dude. But there's also, pull up the other one. It's Umbrella Corp. Or it's, what did, what did he send me? Well, sh shout out to Kenny. And also shout out to this Umbrella Corp, dude. That feel free to sponsor us, dude. By all means. It's www.ucwrg. Yeah. 
So they got some Umbrella Corp Fies, dude. They got some Fies, dude. Let's see what they're working with, dude. Got the home, the material, dude. Dude, what are we looking at, dude? It's like, they just, do they not sell a complete rife? Well, receiver Arrow doesn't stats. even sell a complete rife anymore. No it's all complete pods, ups and no lows, receivers, dude. Upper receivers. They're yes, advertising yeah. a complete rife right there. They are. They're showing one. That's an SP. Dude, would you tell people to stop texting you? Kenny is texting me as we go, dude. <laughs> or it's not even a text. It's a fucking Facebook fucking stupid ass thing. The umbrellas, dude. Up, dude. Forged? Umbrels. Forged as fuck, dude. Yeah. That's what they say. How much is it, dude? 150 bucks? 150 worth. Bucks. Yeah. Worth, dude. For the umbrella ups, dude. That'd be a sick build, bro. I'd have to go all flat, black with red, flat though. dick earth, dude. Yeah, I couldn't do that. It'd have to be all black with red, like, safety and fire. It'd look like an HK, but it would be Umbrella Corp, dude. They say assembled. What do they mean by assembled? It's Fortune milled, earth. dude. Well, they got the, uh... No, they don't even have the fucking dust cover no. installed. There's nothing assembled on this. What are you talking about? That's hilarious. <laughs> but it's specifically assembled, and an extra $25 <laughs> for the assembled one. Oh man, <laughs> I would I would <laughs> like to know. Maybe they just. Wait, does it say anything on there? Where are they it's out of? Assembled. Dude. Oh fucking China. China. <laughs> well, yeah, we knew that, yeah. but. But it looks cute. Yeah. Okay, what else they got, dude? Fucking, what do the lows look like, dude? They just got the one low. I want to know what it says Fortune though. Low. Umbrella Corporation, Virginia Beach. That's actually pretty cool though, dude. That's pretty cool, dude. Safe semi umbrella, dude. Yeah, dude. The zoms, dude. You gotta get the Z straight in there. zoms, dude. Just straight umbrella on the other side. Dude. That needs color fill, but other than yeah. that, that needs some red and white color fill. Or yeah, I would take just the red. We yeah, could do just I, the I red. Just do red, I think. But like, well, maybe on the safe, I would do white just to like throw it in yeah. there. But like, but yeah, I don't know, dude. That's sick though. As yeah. well as the markings for the ambi, the right? Taped, you know, right. Uh, and it's 180 bucks for the low. What are the ops, dude? Extra power buffers. Oh, well, you could build it all. Maybe you got to select all the things. Okay. okay. Which is it, almost even better. So you're paying an extra 25 I'd... bucks for the assembly on the ops. Then. Right. Right. They don't have just a stripped low. Just a stripped low? They don't have just In case you want to put a beast parts kit in there? Apparently, you can so... only get the 180, and then you can choose to assemble it. Whereas on the up, it saves 25 bucks to not have to assemble it at all. And it was 150. Otherwise, the other one. Right, but for 20 bucks, I'd might as well have them assemble that shit because yeah. fucking me sitting there with a fucking dust cover spring and shit trying to get that. They might as well just fucking do it for 20 bucks. No drag forward assist. That's all it's all. <laughs> That's all you need, dude. No dust cover, even though there's a spot for one. It's the only thing you have installed. So, is that worth 25 bucks to install your forward assist for you? As long as they don't put it in backwards. Um, what parts do they got, dude? Damn. So that's what we said. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. The fucking Radian would be cool. If that's a Radian, looks like a Radian. That would be cool. Because it's like it's like a little treat, dude. Yeah, it is a raid. It's just like a little treat. Nobody even knows it's there until you fucking shame check one, you know? Even though they won't notice it's so small. Right. And nobody's paying attention to it. Right. It's kind of like my peen. What? Yeah. <laughs> but the... <laughs> But different Ford assist, bro. Yeah, and dude. That umbrella on the Ford. Yeah, the umbrella, too. dude. <laughs> they got patches and swag, dude. Yeah, bro. Let's see. What other Kutcher mod, dude? Yeah, we need some accoutrements, dude. Charging handle suppressor optimized. Yeah, it's for with the gas ports or whatever. Yeah. Or the gas buffers kit. to seal it up. The low parts, dude. Low parts kit. How crazy is that? It's Umbrella Corp, dude. Damn, bro. It's kind of ice. Yeah. That's Are those sold set? I would run one of those, just one of those, dude. Let's see. They probably don't. They probably no. make you buy the parts kit. I mean, it's 50 bucks for the parts Yeah, kit. no, regardless. I need one anyway. <coughs> dude, maybe that's that what I'll put on the fucking... <clears throat> I'll put that... On the arrow low. No, dude, you put that on the fucking umbrella when you finally build it out. 
<laughs> the umbrella? Yeah, the umbrella dude. on the yeah, wills? Dude. Section for oh Grand shit! Solo. Twenty bucks, dude. I mean, oh, it's a B five. It looks like a B five. Yeah, it's a B five. It's got to be, but that's still ice, dude. What colors they got? It's black, flat dick earth. God, <clears throat> they don't we get some OD green around here, earth, dude, or maybe like some gray or something, something a little diff. But you do have the option just by the gray. After school specials, what? <laughs> Oil grease and tools. Edgy. It's my brother Corp Earl, dude. Dude, that's how you get the Vi. Yeah, dude. You straight get the Vi, dude. Uh, shop sticks. What? There's no fucking way. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> like, I I'll buy some. But, like, there's no way $10. that you're doing that Shopsticks, with a spring you, for any fucking installing. reason. That's, that's how you're assembling an AR right there. Shop sticks, dude. I fuck, with, and, I fuck and, with the vibes, and then dude. And your rice, dude. Yes, I fuck with the vibes, dude. I will buy them. Either. What are they is, made is out of? Is that just further are they pushing the idea of the Chinese Umbrella Corp, dude? I think so, dude. I think it's, it's, I think it's racially exactly motivated is, for sure. That's exactly what that <laughs> for is. sure it is, dude. But unicorn boot, dude. One, two, or four ounce. Or what, what are the fucking chopsticks made out of, dude? Let's say Make for handy weapon cleaning and disassembly tools. Safe on firearm finishes. Cheap to replace with a multitude of uses. Probably Paul. Yeah, probably. Either way, dude. Yeah. Either Same way. DuPont super tough polymers at rifle grip twenty three. Mm -hmm. Les Berry used to be famous for his DuPont finish on his guns, which was a pretty solid finish, but it was lipstick on a pig. Your cast and mem parts for fucking twenty five hundred dollars. Archived and discontinued prods, please. Ah, oh, dude, why are you discontinuing prods, dude? First run, you see <clears throat> art forged up a receiver. Plus, like this seems like a. Like a pretty niche, small comp. Yeah. So, like, obviously these are other people's ups and lows that are just laser engraved. Yeah. But, like, what, like, are they even still in biz? Like, if you order something from them, is it going to come? I don't know. A lot of shit saying uh, out of stock, so. Can't even get a low? Because I would order a low, dude. Out of stock. Just on the prints. Out of stock. Yeah, dude. Do they got chopsticks in stock? Because I definitely want those, and I want one of those grips, dude. Get some tees, dude. Is that a Good. socket, dude? Get a pop sock, dude. The pop sock is in stock, dude. The chopsticks are in stock. In stock, dude. What colors they got in the chopsticks? Just black and flat dark earth, of course. Yes. No, it's just dark earth. It's not right. It's not even dark. flat. It's a shiny it's dark, dark earth. earth. Yeah. It's a lustrous dark earth they have over there. What does that say, dude? Weapons Research Group, Umbrella Corporation. I mean, it's pretty cute still. And you get the umbrella on the back, dude. But, like, they're not even making prods, dude. All yeah, their prods not. are discontent. Well, they're just selling too many of them, dude. Nah, I don't know. You can buy the grip, dude. The grip is in stock. Damn, son. It's apparently, they just not don't have any lows or ups. Well, that's, like, the whole point of it, I thought. You know? That's... Do they have a lower parts kit in stock? Battleborn FDE build receivers out of stock. 650 doll hairs, though, bro. Is that billet? Bazooka Green is pretty sick, though. I'll you give them the Bazooka the receiver Green. Receiver set, the shop sticks, 10 bucks. Packages, some Earl. Fucking. Certificate of fucking. Authenticity. Yeah. It's worth it, bro. I don't know about 650 dolls for Battle a stripped up FDE, and dude. low. Especially with Battle Warren, you get the up and low, now you need a battle wear the rest of the shit. Right. <laughs> like, and you <laughs> just paid fucking $400 for the fucking rail, and it's like, ah, I really don't want to scratch this, let alone even Krylon it. Says, we have lower parts kits in stock. Out of stock of the lower Son of a kits. dick, Umbrella Corp. What the fuck, dude? Too busy. Can I even get a buff spring, dude? Enhanced buffer. Spring. Son of a also dick, dude. Stock. You mother grabber and sons of bitches. <laughs> Good for nothing. I was all excited, dude. Bro. Kenny fucking also, sent me the link. I don't know. Maybe Kenny's buying all of it because he's a huge out Resident Evil fan. But out of stock. So I can buy their swag, bro. 
They got any? Is the oil out of stock too? Out of, out of stock. stock. <laughs> they ran out, dude. Uh, yeah, they were greasing up too many zombs. Four ounces of unicorn lube with a needle tip, a blunt needle tip, and a pink base. In stock. In stock. So Does that come in Dark Earth? Two ounces also in stock, and a one ounce also in stock. They just pour some out of the pot and send you the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, what the, the fuck? is also in stock. Right. Two grease, dude. Like, I, did they lose their FFL? Like, what are you I doing? Mean, what happened? Even then, you can still sell the ups. You know? Yeah, you can still sell the ups. But, who knows, man? Research well, for now, you can got still... any news in here? No news, There's dude. No news, There's no new news, news dude. Yeah, <laughs> you never get it. It'd be the one There's people. Upcoming projects: aggressive texture grip, Gen two. They already got low. that. Already got that. Billet it's out of stock. Unique design, bolt carrier. Didn't group, see that. Bolt hammer forged barrel and additional projects under development. <sighs> Copyright twenty twenty two. So they're a new comp. Yeah. Maybe they're a start. And they they they're having some rough patches or some shit. Maybe they they can't source, you know, the scam demic that they created because they're Umbrella Corp and Shine. They created the scam dem. Umbrella Corp high res wallpaper images for you to steal and utilize. And right, choose. because you're promoting their comp. Yeah, but it's just the wallpaper on your compute, dude. Who's gonna see? Right, except for you. Yeah, it's subliminal mess, is what it is. Yeah, they're getting in your All head, dude. Images, dude, and they're gal. Whose trig is that, dude? Looks like a motherfucking little part to a BC clay. Dude. <laughs> looks like the gears to your BC clay. It looks like a cheesy ass fucking cleaver, dude. Right. Or like a cheese grater. Yeah. Looks like a weird grip ang on that shoddy bow body. Yeah. Looks like it's canted inward. There's no, nobody. How many times did it take to fucking get that picture, dude? Stop that fucking a, with that people. Is really weird. It's a weird grip ang, dude. It's a canted in, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck. I'm they, calling bull heck on this that one, dude. Yeah, I'm calling bull <laughs> heck on this. These dude. also aren't even the same chopsticks. Dude. Right, dude. These, these are the Gen 1 fucking... chopsticks, dude. Those ones are actually made out of real materials. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what? Speaking of that, you know how I say I never use those little fucking stupid, these fucking stupid things? Yeah. The little fucking. <laughs> it makes sense why they're there. The actual magpoles? No, it's not a mag pull. It's, it's you clip it on the bottom to store it, but like when you uh, have your mags yeah. in storage, it yep. relieves tension mm. so the feed lips don't spread. Mm -hmm. But like I've had mags loaded for years and never had that issue, even yeah. with the Gen 2s. So like I was like, you're just charging me extra money for something I literally throw in the fucking garbage. But I was loading. I got some P Mag 25 rounders yeah. for the 308. And I was loading them bitches. I was like, that's a little stiff. <laughs> and then they came with it. And so I clipped them on there because they're going to yes. sit there loaded just in case. But like, Although, do they have it's the first time. I, but this is the thing. Now all the fucking, I can't shove that in the gun. True. So before I fucking even do anything, with, I don't like that. Yeah. Because I got to fucking boink, boink, boink before I fucking do anything with it. I don't think so, dude. That bitch was a zomb, dude. Yeah. He's a zombie bitch, dude. They all are, bro. Who does the square, dude? Colt used to do the square shit. Or was it the keyhole? I forget what the fuck. I'm pretty sure some Colt shit was square stamped. I forget who's forging that was. Um, That looks different. Yeah. That's a mega receiver set they had that's discontinued. Everything's discontinued, dude. And everything's not discontinued is out of stock. Right. Which is about the same thing. Either way, you split it. Kenny, you put us onto this website. Kenny! Trash. You're fucking How cucking us. You're honey dicking us, Kenny. How dare you, Kenny? Fucking honey dicking us, dude. Still get a grip, though. You know. Sometimes you just need to get For it. a limited time. Yeah. Now yeah. that to our tens of viewers, who are also probably sell all nerd ass motherfuckers. Right. And then by the time, it'll be just like with that fucking holst. <laughs> <laughs> and I put motherfuckers onto some shit. Hey, check this out. And then, and then by the time I get to buy one, the fucking, it's gone. It's okay. gone. You got one, anyway. Right. Took a year. But that was a whole thing. I got you one, bro. They're almost as bad as fucking Optics out. Planet with their shipping. You know? Seriously, on every... Pretty much 99% of the comms on that video I did about the Optics Plan... Yeah. 
are saying, yeah, the same exact thing has happened to me. Every person I talk to says the same exact thing. So it makes me believe that the people in the comment section saying good things are employees of Optics Planet. Yeah. <laughs> like, Although you had discussions with an employee of Optics Planet. Right, and I understand well. why Optics Planet, because of that, works so poorly. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, at the same time, Shout out to Kayvon. <laughs> but, like, at the same time... When he was working there and trying to hook us up with everything from Optics Plan. Right. But never actually had to hook up on anything from Optics Plan. Right, and even if he did, we would have still been waiting on the shipping. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. Regard- it's almost a moot point at that point. Yeah. But So, I've ordered a couple things from Optics Plan. Not anything like extensively. Like, fucking random small bullshit. I don't even remember what. But I know I've gotten a couple orders from them. I've never had an issue with them. Yet. I've had nothing but issues with yeah. it. And I don't know if it's just because I'm ordering whatever I'm... But, like, it's $100. I got the thing. Yeah. It's there. I own it. It's in my possession. It took less than a week to get there. It was in stock. Just like they said it was. Just like you said it was. But twas not. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... Yeah. I'm surprised. I ordered from T Rex. I got uh I'm gonna get an AC one. Yeah. Um but I bought that fucking nickel boron Glock instead. But the fucking um I ordered a a, a Kiwi placard for three oh eight mags because I have no I have shit'll work, no. but like I don't have a dedicated three oh eight mag pouch situation because I've never had an AR ten. Yeah. So, and surprisingly enough, I've never had an HK-91 or even a PTR-91, which I would almost settle for because those are solid guns, but, like, it's roll marks or no marks. But that means I'm going to have to spend $5,000 plus for an HK-91, and I'm willing to do it, but they're not getting any cheaper, and it's a little bit lower down the list. Like, I got the SL-8, the SP-5, the USC, the USPs. The 45 Tactical Compact. The fuck, I had a VP9, but that's just a fancy Glock. Yeah. Um, I, I want a P2000. I have an SP5K on order. Like, I need a Mark 23. Like, it's just a 416, at least MR556. MR762, God forbid, for fucking eight These grand. Are, but it comes with a nice Pelican case. The worst problems I've ever heard of, bro. Yeah. No, but it's honestly, it's an issue. <laughs> because <clears throat> it's I am so steadfast. I only have, like... Thirteen thousand dollars for the no, HK firearms. Okay, it's more I need, than that, and... but the... <laughs> especially when you consider in what they're fucking actually worth and yeah, not what I paid. Yeah. But the fucking, it's it's still like, because I see other people enjoying HK adjacent products. Yeah, such like the. <laughs> Turkish made fucking clones from Century. Yeah. And fucking there's the PTRs and shit, which the PTRs are actually solid guns. I'm not sold on the fucking Turkish bullshit, but it's such a good design that it probably still works. But even still, they can buy two yeah. for the price of one. That is true. So, and it's like, if I did that, I could just have everything. But I can't. Because to me, I'll never be happy, dude. And it's stupid, it's naive, it's childish, perhaps. Instead, you'd be buying that one for half price and then still going for the one for full price. Yeah, I just, I can't. It's never, I, it, roll marks or no marks, yeah. dude. Like, that. it is what it is. And it's not even, even if, even if they legitimately, and they're not, but even if they were legitimately side-by-side side equal mm-hmm. in every way, shape, or form, which, again, they're not, and they never will be. They're cheaper guns for a reason. But even if that was the case, it's still just a copy. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So I just I can't do it, dude. Can't do it. But it costs a lot of money yeah. for no fucking reason. <laughs> for, I mean, there's reasons. It's a, They're excellent guns. They're extremely well made. The history of heritage, the collectability, you know, the value is only going to go up. Import shit, this, that, yada, yada. But... At the same time, dude. Sometimes frivolous. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to fucking sell them anyway. I'm going to fucking yeah. die with them. So, you know, it'll be somebody else's problem, I guess. But, I don't know. Depending on the situation, it could be somebody else's benefit. Well, right. But Now, whoever gets the fucking guns, dude, it's definitely going to be somebody's benefit, <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> well, if anybody's going to get them. Right. Well. Situation always dictates the tactics. Yeah. One would say. Precisely. But yeah, the fucking... 
yeah it's just it's it, but that's the thing though it's like there's so many things like there's cold like i don't want a cult that was made after 1980 yeah but the ones that are made at, before 1980, made after 1980 a cult anything made after 1980 really a fucking one ar you got well yeah right but like yeah i'm talking about yeah i'm talking about handguns yeah. primarily when it comes to that but yeah. um but even then, dude, I would love to have a fucking H bar. I'd love to have one of those Delta Elites. I'd love to have a fucking like an SP one, dude. Like those are real fucking. That was a Vietnam fucking rifle, bro. So, you know, it, and that's cool as shit. But I mean, that's exorbitantly priced as well. So, there's just all types of shit, um, that like and and two, dude. Like it's like I grew up in the wrong period, bro. Because like every now there's super cool guns that are out today that weren't out back then that like I have or want and like can just definitely appreciate. If, if we were born in like the '60s, though, right? You know, or even by, like, just the '50s. You know, you just buy full auto shit straight to your house, yeah, dude. Precisely. I wouldn't leave the house, dude. I would no. just be ordering from mail order catalogs, yeah. machine guns. And all types of AOWs yep. and all, all types of fuck whatever the fuck, all. and just shooting them in my backyard. You'd have to leave the house to afford them still. You'd have to have a right. Well, I would. And YouTube didn't exist at that point, so it was I would probably YouTube. just write news articles. Yeah, reviewing the guns. Yeah. You know, it'd be paid. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be on the fuck. I'd be on the soapbox on the corner. Fucking yeah. hear ye, hear ye. The fucking buy them now before they take them. Right. <laughs> so, but either way, and everybody's really thinking you're crazy because they're still ordering machine guns to their door. On the right. Net. They're like, that'll <laughs> never happen. And at that, but at that point, it was realistic thought process. Right. That that'll never well, happen. See, that's just it ain't never sweet. At dude. that point, America it ain't never still sweet, bro. America. People forget. People be thinking it's sweet, dude. It's not. That shit's yeah. sour and I'm fucking... I'll tell you what, dude. Yep. Because, yeah, dude, we've got assault weeping bands looming. Yeah. We've got fucking all types of... And I just... I hate... The shit. Again, people, I've said it before. Not even the shit we got to look at in the future, but the shit that's already passed. Right. You that's know? what that's I'm saying. Like We're enough. so far behind the curve. It's not even... I feel like this is not properly angled enough towards you. No. Um... I don't know. I don't know. You have to hear my sweet voice enough. You have to, you really have to, you have to give the people what they want, Scales. <laughs> literally just sounds like you're scratching your nuts on the mic. Well, dude, that's all maybe that I was, dude. It's, I got two hands, nuts, it was a dude. simultaneous action. <laughs> you know, you don't see the other one. But... Yeah. <laughs> but Good seriously, reason. like, we are so behind the curve already. We're so behind the curve already. Look at all of the rights that we have fucking lost. Yeah. And not even lost, right? Because we've given we, up. Exactly. We have given them up. And not even me or him or maybe even some of y'all watching. And maybe even not necessarily some of y'all that are older that, you know, it was time to do something then. And not even time to do something in a radical sense. Just stand up and say no, fight against it, argue against it, fucking civilly disobey. Whatever the fucking course of action Stop is. Being scared. Like, it's, it's scared. What's scary, the scariest part about it all is that I work in a gun shop, dude. And we've got this looming assault weapons ban going on in Illinois. And you, I cannot tell you how many fucking cuck-ass motherfuckers come into the shop asking to get their ghost guns serialized, 10-round mags, oh, I've got a, I've got an uh, AR pistol, and uh, can I get a 16-inch upper for it? You know, and then, but then in the same breath are saying, oh, they're not going to take my shit, you know, I'm only going to register some of them, and the other ones I'm... You're such a fucking piece of shit, you have no idea who the fuck... Like, you are the register some of them <laughs> like wh and they're oh i'm buying 10 round mags you know i want to be able to go to the you want to be able to go to the public range with your 10 round mags for a gun and the way that it's written too it's not just that you have 10 round mags it's not the gonna gun exist will take the mags so you're fucked and it's like, it's just, but the people, it's the same people. If you're out there buying 10 round mags for a fucking possible ban, you're going to be the same person to hand your shit over when they do officially be like, be it's done. So fucking more. just give them up now, pussy. Give them up now. If you're buying 10 round mags, if you're worried about registering your shit, if you're doing, just give them up now, pussy, because that's all that it is. Like, and what, it, it, what I don't understand, right? Is like here. If we have people going out and buying 10-round mags, 
Yet in California, they lifted that mag ban. How many people bought 30 rounders and larger capacity mags? Everybody knowing that a week later it was going to be illegal again. They knew what the fuck they were doing. Right. They did the right thing in this situation. Right. Is get them while the fuck you can. Dude, you could like, buy a 3D printer yeah. and print whatever the fuck you want. You can even print the springs for temporary usage in some magazines. It's simple. You just download shit. Get a fucking VPN if you care. I like what I don't but again, it's not even like it's the whole like you don't have to do it in silence or in privacy. By all means, feel free. But like you should it's not something you should be hiding or ashamed of or worried about. If you have to worry about being a fucking person that owns things to defend life and liberty in a quote unquote free fucking country, it's not a free fucking country, people. Which is why, coincidentally, all of these things are here yep. and existent, right? So and people have lost sight of that. People don't want to be held accountable for that. People are scared of the consequences of that. But you know what? The shit and the evil and, and the, the tyranny that you will experience, and even worse, not you, your fucking poor children, will experience in your absence because of your lack of action is far worse than anything they could do to your mortal being in this realm, whatever the fuck this is, for having a backbone yep. you know what because you're gonna die regardless nobody makes it off this fucking rock alive at least die with a fucking spine in your body die for something like it and it doesn't even if motherfuckers would actually be proactive and do shit about something from time to time it would never even have to yep. come to that no which is what i would if, prefer if people wouldn't go and fucking hide in their closets and shit from the shit cause it's scary change is scary disobedience is scary i don't like change yeah. myself no, neither do I. But at the same time, I don't think... I, any... I like... I, I think I'd be a fan of change. I'd be a fan of a lot of change. Well, it depends on <laughs> in what context we're yeah. talking about, dude. Like, but, it... but, like, the whole point is, if we are all standing together, civil dis disobedience, that's all it takes. Don't hide your shit. Don't give your shit in. Tell them to go right. fuck themselves. You should show up protesting in full kit or whatever. Just fucking do it. If there's enough of us, they can't do shit. That's the problem, though. But the fucking that's the problem. We can't get means, a, f a fucking. But everybody wants to. If everybody wants to, we hide, can't get ten thousand people at I Gold with a picket sign. They're not exactly. going to show up with a fucking nope. long gun. Never. So that's the problem, dude. And that's because it's the same people that are so fucking complacent. And it's death by a thousand paper cuts. I've said it a, a thousand, if not a million, fucking times. Everybody has been slowly bleeding out, but they have not been bandaging their wounds, okay? Like, they, you just, oh, well, you know, they the powers that should not be said that I can't have this, or I can't have that, or I have to register this, and it's grandfathered. It's probably only, for one, fuck a grandfather, for one, dude. Like, there's no, oh, well, you already have, because, you know what, the next generation is not going to get it, and I don't want rights that other people don't have. I want the same as everybody, and I want everybody to have rights. So, okay, you're good, you actual grandpa or dad or whoever the fuck you are, and then by the time you're dead, you can't even pass them on. You can't do this. They're all registered. They're going to come and confiscate. Registration in every single fucking aspect in the past, every fucking incident in history has always every single fucking time led to confiscation and you motherfuckers are gonna be lined up you already did it yeah. illinois banned ghost guns and y'all fucking ran out and had them serialized every single one of you motherfuckers oh, man. every single one of you motherfuckers hey can i wait do you guys serialize ghost guns here can i get my ghost and you don't think that that's being recorded and registered not only with that gun shop, but with the feds and the state police and everybody, everybody. the fuck else? Why the fuck they didn't even did you buy it? The state police Why the fuck up? did you buy it to begin with, motherfucker? Everybody wants to do ghost gun shit until it's time to do actual ghost gun shit. Yep. So, and it's the same thing. Oh, well, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm not getting rid of anything, but, you know, I'm going to get these 10 rounders. I'm going to get this compliance shit just so I could leave the house with it. You shouldn't be afraid to leave your house with anything. So, and, and that's the problem. If, we, if you, you're backing yourself so far into the corner that you are not giving yourself a way out other than 
the last ditch effort of an actual true fight, which your fucking ass is not prepared to do so anyway. So I don't understand it, people. I really don't. It's very disheartening seeing you motherfuckers come into the shop cucking like a bunch of bitches on a daily basis. Like I am, and oh, well, we just got to keep voting. Oh, we just got to keep doing this. You ain't going to fucking do shit. You are not doing shit. Nobody is fucking doing shit. This country has fallen years ago. And there's people out here trying to pick it the fuck back up. And you motherfuckers ain't got hands all of a sudden. I don't understand it, dude. No, you fucking rouse no me sense. up, bro. I'm going to have a fucking aneurysm by the time I'm fucking 42. Like, so in the next two years? Yeah, right. <laughs> you would think. The fu- It's really what it is, dude. It's the stress of all this shit that fucking wears on me, dude. I feel it taking years off of my life. Because it's just... It's the fucking simple-minded, mouth-breathing motherfuckers that are, oh, I'm a fucking NRA member, and they ain't never gonna, from my cold, dead hands, but I'm gonna register my shit, and I need these 10-round mags, and you know what, I'm gonna get a 16-inch barreled upper for my pistol, because you know what, I can make it a rifle, and it's still legal, and I'll still register the shit. Like, the... Where is the Second Amendment lost on you people? Are you that uneducated? Can you not read? Because if you can read, it's very clear. It is the most clear and defined right of them all. Because without that one, none of them exist. So the fact that people either are so scared. What are you afraid of, dude? What the fuck are you afraid of? The worst case scenario, they fucking burn you alive with a bunch of women and children they've done it before they'll yep. probably do a little bit worse than that next time they have to outdo themselves but again and that's even if you comply right right <coughs> so i mean it's like <clears throat> they shoot women and children you know and then and then troy industries hires them you know there's so yeah it sucks but everybody dies you know right so everybody dies and, and so in death being the only thing that's a hundred percent in life is death and taxes, right? Yep. And and we even taxes I'd wish to avoid though. Well, of course, at all costs. Um, this one's for the IRS. They don't know where this cash one's goes. for the rest of the fucking federal agencies. <clears throat> but either way, either way, like, but that's the thing though. People would fucking shit themselves if they had to say that on. And I'm a nothing nobody from nowhere. Yeah. And what the fuck do I matter? Well, you're from I don't. somewhere at least. <clears throat> Yeah, but they don't know that. But the fuck, <laughs> but like you know, we're only talking to the feds at this point, right? <laughs> right, for real. But like, that's the thing, dude. Like, we're we're building your case for you, motherfuckers, because yep. we're not afraid, dude. And that's gonna make them want to double down and we're go harder, get motherfuckers. That's what it is. Like, it's just I don't understand. I don't understand the disconnect, dude. Yep. And this is not even this. It's considered one, but it should not be considered a radical yep. ideal that the fucking government works for us. And they need to. There's no, at no point for any reason should the populace have to be afraid of their own fucking government. No, they're elected. And by I'm the not. People He's for not. The Y'all are not. What the fuck? Most likely. What? But it's just, what the fuck? Well, right. Why are people afraid? What because they they're, they're too distracted by the fucking exactly. devil boxes yeah. and they're 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 MK ultra and they're brainwashed afraid, into believing though. and and again they love making an example yeah. out of people because they will fucking kick your door and throw a couple flashbangs shoot your fucking dog and put you in cuffs and take you to jail for no fucking reason for not doing anything fucking wrong if you and, and you'll sit there and rot exactly so there's the not enough them, people the easier it gets for them. there's not enough people standing the up the more you give in the more power they gain saying no you know, so it, I mean, it, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. And what it ain't is freedom because nobody has fucking fought for it in a very long time. You think all the, and you know, God bless all the troops and all the, this, that, and the third and whatever. But you think that any war that's been fought in the last, probably the last fucking century, to tell you the truth, has been for freedom. What the fuck? Al Qaeda. Those people that supposedly bombed the fucking World Trade Centers at at worst were CIA funded and trained and at best 
they were in at it the whole time. Our own U.S. government, the Las Vegas shooting, Sandy Hook, any of these fucking things, dude, as controversial as it is to say that, they have you so fucking wrapped around the narrative, which has been a false one since day one. And everybody believes it. The fact that you're still watching the news, the fact that you're still, like, n- nobody has a mind. The, nobody the one that gets me the most. Is how does anybody believe the Las Vegas shooting was what they said it was? Because people like are so, have to be even gun owners, fucking even gun owners are fucking so uneducated. literally have your lips locked around these motherfuckers' dicks mm-hmm. to be believing this. No, they do, 100%. Because that's, that's big daddy government there's, and... There's no, no other way. Like, no, how many they, reports they, they goes. from random people that were in the crowd the fact, saying there were multiple fights, mul- multiple <laughs> guns firing upon them. They saw flashes from multiple windows. That people you listen to the offended. fucking audio from the video recordings. You can tell the cadence is not that of a fucking semi-automatic rifle, even with a bump stock. Yeah. And it was a, a deeper tone. It was a fucking, it was a saw, dude. It was. It was a fucking saw. And you know who has the saws? The fucking government, dude. Yep. Along with their black SUVs that were seen putting the shit in there and taking it out. So, again. No, but they saw the guy on the cameras bringing in a couple duffel bags. And you know who That's likes where he taking had the guns six, first? He had his 60 rifles and two duffel bags. You know bro. who likes taking the guns first and then you get the due process later, motherfuckers? It's your boy, Trump. Oh, we had more gun control in the first two years of Trump than eight years of Obama. It's funny how that works. Because everybody's a complacent little fuck. And you know what? I don't believe... I don't even believe that the votes matter or that they make a difference or that, like, we have any control in as far as... We have some control if we take it. Right. But <laughs> nobody's got the fucking cojones and the huevos or the fucking hairy, sweaty balls to fucking do anything like that. And again, it's not even in a violent manner. Nope. It's simply taking control of your own life by choosing not to play by their rules. And yes, does that potentially mean that you might one day face some sort of repercussion to that every action has an equal and opposite reaction right but you know what again i'd rather live freely for a split second than forever as a slave motherfuckers just, just for us talking how we'll people... repercussions right at some point right sometime. come and get me just for being a free fucking american come and get me bitch this country that is no longer america and it's, it's a damn shame that a select few motherfuckers are the only select few motherfuckers that seem to realize that or want to do anything to make things better. And we're not making things better for us. We're trying to make things better for everyone. Yep. Even you insolent little fucking idiocrat fucking morons, dude, that will gladly hop on the fucking train cars to the FEMA camps. We're trying to save your dumb asses too. Yep. But nobody fucking listens to a damn thing. And you're crazy for trying to even tell them. And you're crazy for owning this or having that or having food and water in your house past a fucking three-day period. You're, and the government, too, that you're collecting rainwater? No, we're going to tax you because we own fucking Mother Nature, which makes sense because with the CERN labs, they're creating yeah, exactly. the weather. So, you know, if it rains, it pours. It's a man-made product now. I don't. They have a monopoly on everything they have a monopoly on existence because we've fucking allowed it and not us i actively do things to make sure that that's not the case in my life but us as a society as a community as a country as a state as a whatever the fuck have just been like ah it doesn't affect me now until it does, motherfucker. And God forbid it affects you a little bit too late to actually make a change about it. And everybody sat idly by for how long? And continues to do so. We'll continue to comply. 10 round mags. 16 inch uppers for your pistols. Go fuck yourself. Hand your shit in, motherfucker, right now. Because you sure as fuck ain't gonna be next to me shoulder to shoulder if it goes down like you say you're gonna. Oh, well, when they come and then... You ain't doing shit, bitch. You ain't doing a damn thing. And neither am I. I'm a peaceful man, right? I'm a peaceful man. Rather be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war, though. I'll tell you that. Too many fucking gardeners out here, dude. Yeah. And we are in a fucking war. 
I have to take a piss. <laughs> Fucking measure my blood pressure and shit. This is more so I just want to see what the GPU utilization is sitting at because that is currently what it's being utilized for in coding. Utilization being utilized? Yeah. For utilizational purposes? Which it's only running at 45% of the GPU utilization. Maybe you should have done this. GPU utilization. Maybe you should have done this from the start, perhaps, Mr. Computer Gene. Maybe. Hmm? Nobody fucking listens to me. I told them to do it the whole time. I just didn't know how the fuck that shit worked. You didn't try it. I didn't know it was an option. <laughs> I told you it was an option. You didn't. I did. You said like, there's got to be something. That's yeah, not, that's, that's not telling the you there's an that's option. The and there was an option provided. It's not just get answer. good. <laughs> just get us the equivalent of get good, dude. And look, you got better. Hopefully, you're you welcome. Better. We'll see. You're well. It's running fine, dude. dude if anything, this might fucking is it's utilizing it properly, dude. Yeah. It's not over utilizing. No. You don't want to ever over utilize it. Look at how balanced. My highest and utilization is the GPU at 44%. 44%. is 26%. Let's see if I fucking open up. Running shit perfectly so fine, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. oh. we're climbing. Here GPU we go. Just went up to 80% utilization, dude. Yeah, but now it's, it's going to chill, though. It's going to fucking... It's, look, it's already... Fu- it looks like Dogecoin. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're utilizing some Jeeps right now, dude. Well, that's the CPU. Watching right now. I'm looking at the GPU right down here. It's not even changing, dude. No, it's sticking. But is the right CPU right. gonna affect the lag if we're using the utilizing the GPU, bro? It shouldn't. Because now the CPU so what's happening is I just changed the encoding on the shit here. So now the video encoding, which is what's transferring everything into the actual data in the file download and fucking edit and all that shit is happening off the GPU as opposed to the CPU. So the CPU spike shouldn't affect any of that. Yeah. Might still interfere with the audio. I don't know if that's fucking What the fuck? What. But we never had any issues with the audio anyways. So. We always have issues with the audio. No. Like almost every time. The issue with the audio is our voices. Okay. No. Yes. No. But we're all humans. <laughs> we gotta check this test now. <laughs> Right, but we we are on now. We're back. Yes, I had to take a piss break, dude. You missed a great joke. Yeah, but <laughs> right, we're just too quick with it sometimes, bro. Right, we're just too good at what we do, but we only do it good off camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that's, that's the problem. Right. So, I, I just wish we could access the Fed's cameras, dude. Right, because they're always they're recording. constantly running, dude. You know, and they got the some, highest quality video and, and audio. By now. Like, we had access the to best. video recordings. The best that they got. Like, do you imagine? The best. It'd be great. Not the best. Not the best. Did you just start a Twitch chan, dude? Twitch right? chan, right? Okay. Just got one. for recording. Everybody should check it out. Anytime that we're together. Just live stream everything. Right. But, like, actually live? Yes, actually live, dude. We might go to jail. Maybe. <laughs> well, well, like... I mean, not that we're doing anything illegal. <clears throat> not that we'd go with. But, like... But... <laughs> you know... <laughs> They try. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's true. We have plausible deniability at all yeah, times. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know. About. We're not live streaming anything. I don't know what you're talking right. about. Bro. This is pre recorded. It's, right? it's all fucking deep fake or yeah, whatever dude. the fuck. Yeah. Like they I can make I don't even, anybody I don't even say know, anything. I don't even days. have a Twitch channel, bro. It's, right. You should, though. <laughs> I do technically. I just not doing shit on but, it. But eventually. But yeah. Let's get a capable computer, Mapes. Right. Yeah. I think maybe if you potentially can reconfigure whatever it is, you might be able to do it like you're doing it now, dude. Yeah. You seem to fix the prop, dude. Yeah. You know, and I told you that this was an option from day one, and you just you, never believed you, me, dude. <laughs> I was like, "There's got to be a go way." Go this again. Comes. So we're gonna put the clip in listen. at the start, anyways. <laughs> but of how you said, "There's some way to fix it." Yeah. Fixed it. There was a way. There was a way. You had no hope. You were were right. There was some way of fixing it. I had hope. It's not that I didn't have hope. It's that the fix was not that simple. And it took a few months for me to fucking figure out. I think it is that simple. And I think that you just thought it was sweet. No, I did not. You just thought it was sweet, dude. No, I did not. And you know who thought it was sweet? Who? The people that gave up their guns. People that will give up their guns. And this here, 
the Hebrew hammer, as it's known, a real Galil ARM variety. This one, a Gallant, built by James River Armory off of a parts kit. A local company. Or not local, I don't think they're local. Our Guns is a local company that does yeah. a lot of stuff with them. They make yeah. their machine guns or convert them to machine guns or something like that, which is a local comp, but James Riv, I don't yeah. think is out of Illinois, although they might be out of Illinois. I don't know. Maybe. No. But they're the ones that built this. It's all legit, except for whatever American parts that need to be. And it's the Hebrew Hammer, because it is the rifle of Israel, right? The Galil. And uh, those people, the Jews were put on train cars, and we all know what happened there. And uh, people think, oh, that can't happen here. That won't happen here. Is it it's already happen here. fucking happened here, motherfuckers. People forget about the Japanese and the yep. internment camps. Yep. People forget about all the COVID bullshit, mm -hmm. all the scamdemic bullshit. What about Australia, bro? Which is not us, right? But it's close no, enough, yeah. too, right? Like, we're like NATO ally buddies and shit. And yep. they had motherfuckers in internment camps over a scam fucking demic. It's all bullshit. You notice yep. how the flu disappeared for the past three years, but now all of a sudden it's, it's fucking back. back. It's about? back with a vengeance, dude. Yep. And they got a new fucking vaccine to stick in your ass. Like, this is important this it, this could be an m4 this could be an ak this could be a galil this could be it could be a 1022 it could be grandpa's fucking remington 700 it could be fucking your dad's fucking old mossberg pump it could be a fucking taurus g2c or a glock 19 or a wilson combat 1911 it could be anything but this is the only thing that keeps us who we are, and you know what? We don't fucking know who we are anymore. We have no fucking idea. Nobody has an identity. That's why everybody's got 87 genders, because they can't fucking make up their minds. They can't accept who they are. They can't accept reality. They can't accept responsibility. Everybody's living in fantasy land, and everybody just fucking went along with it. What happened to reality, motherfuckers? Everybody needs a fucking check. And everybody needs to chip in on the no, fucking we all bill. Got our checks, bro. Yeah, exactly. No, that's how they, they get you. They no. get you with the checks, dude. Good as all the checks, dude. That's how they get you, dude. These are blue. Yeah. Because if they were green, I would die. <laughs> dabba dee, dabba die. You know. Damn, bro. What? Better watch out. That one won't work, dude. <laughs> this doesn't work in mine. But they're green, bro. So they are green. <laughs> I could thumb them by just, just like Tarkov, dude. But it's, it's factual. Though. If they were green, you would die, dude. It won't work. <laughs> right, dude. It's fucked up, dude. Speaking shit into exist, dude. Mr. B like, oh, the realms. Mr. B's in a fucking your manifestation. Oh, fucking tripping. Bro, I'm getting a little red, bro. I'm starting to look like you. It's a little what warm in here. About, I could leave, bro. I'm, I'm getting sorry. red in the Fuck. face, bro. Dude, I get like that when I'm when I drink a little bit. Dude, you get like that all the time. What are you talking about? What do you mean? About? Or you're just always drinking. Which one is I know my rights. <laughs> like, what? what do you mean I get red in the face, dude? Huh? What do you mean you... What? What? Where's the question? Uh, what do you mean, dude? I got color, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm tan. <laughs> like a fucking tan lops, dude. red. Dude. Like a lobster. Yeah. Usually the red only lasts for a few days. Dude. You're just seeing the sheen. Yeah, yeah, fucking off the can, I think is what it is. That's what it is. I have a perfect complexion. <laughs> It's the London oh, look. <laughs> but like, yeah, I don't know, dude. The fucking... Just, I'm so fucking... <laughs> like, I can't... Like, if one more fucking person comes into the gun shop, and I tell them, too, straight to their face, I'm like, if you are in here... Because, dude, I don't even want to get back into it. But, like, I just don't fucking... If you know who the fuck I am, and you come and visit me at the gun shop, and you're a motherfucker... That is looking for some 10 round mags or some fucking 16 inch uppers to put on your fucking pistols. Go to fucking Mega Sports. They'll be happy to help you. Yeah. Like, no, dude. I'm not condoning your cuckery, bro. It's the only customer they'd like over there. Right. Oh, yeah. Just step right in line. We can register them for you, too. Yep. You know, our fee is only $75 on top of the 25 Makes it a nice, even $100 fee for each gun. Not even just yourself, but, like, just every gun you own. And some people have a lot of guns. And, you know, it's... But, again, a lot of these people, you know, it's fucking... Ah, well... 
you know, we'll get him next time. We'll fucking... Have... And even if... Let's say even if this shit goes away, right? Listen up, motherfuckers. Let's say even if this shit goes away, because it's going to be... Hem- I'm sure people are suing him, and they're yeah. challenging it in court and whatever. But let's say it's even if the shit... Back. It's going to be hemmed up in limbo, but the the bad rules will still apply the whole time it's being fought in court. And, and like, maybe, maybe we even win a little bit, but not fully. So, like, yeah. some of it goes away, but not everything. Do you think those records, those files of your guns and your name, address, and social security number, and fucking serial number, and make, model, and caliber, and all that, do you think that shit goes anywhere, you stupid fucking people? No. Like, do you think... think what about it? the fucking... The the ATF not being able to search the databases of all the fucking files and forms and everything. They're going, they're thumbing through those motherfuckers, beating their dicks to it. Yep. And you people are still okay with it. There's fucking, there's literally people who've been just literally buying oil filters. Getting for legitimate by ATF. oil purpose. For oil running a fucking purposes. shop. Right. Working on diesel. The fucking one dude literally put out a video of it. He runs a diesel mechanic shop out of his house. Bought like six or seven oil filters for diesel trucks. Yeah. Next thing he knows, knock, knock, knock. Hey, what's with this? <laughs> None of your fucking damn business. Like, yeah. You know, like, what, like, what do you mean? Like, dude? What the fuck, I forgot man. you fixed this. Yeah. Because now, to me, it's broken. Yeah. Because I'm not used to it. It's now that change but, thing. But are they are they about. not more easily accessible? They're more easily accessible once I remember that they're there. Yes. Because originally they're not. I'm looking. Which like, I I still think it was a pretty good idea. Pretty yeah. good. I'm gonna give it to you. I think, I it's think a it solid was. ID. Yeah. Now I just wish Which is it what was the feds actually... want to have on you because they're yeah. fucking tracking everybody. Dude. Like <laughs> this is not. I just wish I had like some actual retractable stuff, you know, like right. a hose, like a hose reel has, you know, right. it's springing. But fortunately, I'm not that advanced yet. You can't ever trust some hose either. No, that's true. So that's true. Life lessons here on the Shooting the Poo podcast. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Yeah. But yeah, dude. Now that I'm all fucking amped Speaking up. Speaking of the hose, bro, you know what I found out the other day? Tell me. Apparently I get to call a bunch of motherfuckers hoes on Christmas Eve this year. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that? You always have a family Christmas Eve party, right? And the whole extended family. Like, we're talking like 80 You're motherfuckers. You're not supposed to vape on these when they're plugged in, but I do it on it. Yeah, I do too all the time. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But like, 80 motherfuckers that we have on Christmas Eve in this house. Where, in this house? Not this house. When? Where? At my fucking somebody's house okay right yeah it's the internet and shit right but i was asked if i could be santa this year ha yeah ha yeah are we spray painting the beard that's what my mom said <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have they do this but i used to do that shit uh. when i was younger and shit and i thought uh. it was part of fucking sum 41 uh. like you can go to like party city yeah, and get, like, get the, like the, the hair spray shit. yeah yeah so you might as well yeah. dude you're yeah, gonna have they, to. They, they already got the beard and everything, bro. I might just have to like braid it or something. Nah, because you know, I'll tell you what, out, if you don't you do know, the a- your own actual beard, that shit's gonna be itchy and scratchy than a bitch, bro. It's only for like 20, 30 minutes. You know? All I do is, you know, come down and everything, fucking say some ho ho ho's and some Merry Christmases, you know? <laughs> How hand old out, is the audience? Hand out presents to gonna, the children. Are they and gonna stuff. believe it? Some of them. I think. And this is not like, a personal attack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, Why is but, Santa high? <laughs> well, that... He's been puffing on the old candy canes too much. Yeah. Hey, some of these houses, they got some interesting ideas for what Santa needs. But, know? like, I don't know that you're rotund enough, and then you're definitely not nearly as jolly. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't... It's... Apparently that was the best Christmas is option, a fucking pagan you know? holiday anyway. Apparently so. that was the best option, so. Well, you're yeah. probably the only one with a beard, dude. Bones lost his in a tragic fucking <laughs> no, it's, machining it's, it's, accident. It's back now. Okay, it's it wasn't back. permanently back. detached? No, it was not permanently That's good. gone. That's he just lost the one patch for a little while in, in his drill. That was, that was fucked. That yeah, was I bet fucked. that would hurt like a mug, dude. Because it took skin. Yeah, it wasn't just It wasn't just I the beard. Bet. The that's beard what your beard's got attached to. ripped your skin out, too. It was, it was oh, fucked. that's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put your face too close to the drill, apparently. Poor guy, dude. But... At least it wasn't his actual hair. Right. You know. Been... Yeah. Would have fucking jet lead his ass. Yeah. It would have been fucked. <laughs> but, yeah, so I get to be Santa Claus this year. Sick. Yeah. So, like, could you... Do you... Also, do you have a reindeer? Do you I have do at not. least one reindeer? I do not, no. 
We don't rent reindeer for this party, unfortunately. Why not? You don't go, get, you don't go that in depth. If you're already faking Santa, and you're gonna pull up in a fucking... I'm not even pulling up at Santa, bro. We're gonna be at, at the party, <laughs> chilling and shit. Dip. He's got to dip, dip out to the, the fucking closet real quick and just come back Finally at Santa. Finally come out of know? it. Yeah. Come back at Santa Claus, you know? <sighs> you already got I the costume like, and everything. That would make a good YouTube video. <laughs> tactical, tactical scales as Santa, dude. <laughs> what the fuck do you want, kids? <laughs> here's your fucking Roblox coupons. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Here's, your, here's your V-Bucks, boy. Right, <laughs> right like, I don't know. Go get the new Call of Duty skin. Yeah. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah. Or whatever. Like, well, you just got like you know small like gift bags and shit for all the kids to get, and then mm-hmm. there's a fucking gift exchange where all the great aunts and aunts, uncles, everybody. I never gets liked for the kids. exchanging gifts, bro. Yeah. Because I always a even if I go over the top, I always a feel like it's not enough or like they're not gonna like it, yeah. and then b too like I don't like. I get very nervous about yeah. receiving gifts because it's like, well, it's like I'm still trying to figure out what we're gonna get you for New Year's, dude. Enough, yeah. dude. We got to. I don't fucking need enough, to, dude. What do you mean? So we can say it's not for the pagan hall, dude. Give me some free, no. dude. I want more freed in this cunt. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I wish I could get you. That. I ain't actually Santa Claus. Right. 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 Can I have a dinosaur instead? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like more realist, even yeah. though they never exist. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know, you know, bro. I just watched the new Jurassic War- Park movie, Jurassic World, yeah. the other day. Yeah. That's not even the newest one. They got like yeah, three is. of those now, I think. No, they got the two. I watched and the newer one. I thought the newer one just came out or something. Yeah. Yeah, like but you don't have to ago. go to a feat? No. It was like a few Speaking of which, the fucking... I wonder if I could pirate it on YouTube. <laughs> what? The fucking... The new Dragon Ball Z Super movie. <laughs> The fu- it's all the same shit, dude. Like, come up with some new fucking characters, bro. I'm sick of Frieza and Cell and the androids and all the shit. Like, let's get some new Kant, bro. You are really taking advantage of the limiter on the mic, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just... I, we really do... Like, what is it gonna cost, dude? Well... Because we, we really should. And then, too, like, you do, like, dramatic, like, yo, dude. And then fucking... <laughs> really, this gonna be a secondary mic. Okay, secondary mic, right? Seventy bucks. mic stands because at that point I wouldn't want them sitting on the fucking table. They're gonna be cluttering shit up, and I need one. I feel like this sitting on the table and you're sitting over there on the table is not that cluttery. You know, but for me, that's in the way of my fucking. If it were to be anywhere for me, it'd be like right here, and then I'm like here on the mic. Like, that's unnecessary. Nobody needs to see me that close. To you could hang yours from the sea, dude. So, like, I'd Just hang want it. it. Well, I'd probably want to have it mounted like off this corner here and coming up right. through, to here. You yeah. know. Uh-oh. But it would also help cover some of the other exactly. Too. Exactly, <laughs> so, it's already seen me clear because I'm closer right. to the camera and shit. Right. it's problematic, right? But honestly, but, I think if we switch chairs, yeah, not only like spots, but like I get to sit in that chair, yeah. although who knows how many fucking farts have been soaked honestly, into that motherfucker. I'm starting to despise this chair anymore. why is that because the leather, bro? Why it just gets too hot, bro? It's too insulated, it starts sweating and shit. Sweaty booty ass, yeah. dude. It's it's a problem. Talk about draining the swamp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but so that'd be like another fifty bucks. They were at one hundred twenty just for that, right? Okay. Fine. Now, I am not sure. One thing I'd have to check into on whether or not I can have two separate audio inputs running in my computer, or it has to be run through one audio input. Because if I can have two audio inputs set up on OBS, we could have the two mics set up separately. On here, and it should be fine, right? Yeah, but wouldn't they also still pick up background noise? So that's the thing where we have the limiter set, right? So, like, if your mic is here, it's still picking me up. But yeah, it's definitely still picking you up. I it's also, picking me up more. But I also have it right now set up to where we have a plus 12 gain. So it's increasing the volume anyways. Right. So, so if anything, here, so we would put the opposite of the gain, which would be a limiter. Where it only picks well, we up. Have, we have the limiter already and they have the noise suppression, which drives right. out anything the under, background noise. under negative 60 decibels. Nobody's right? hearing you right now. It's Although still they're still hearing you. But. <clears throat> so then that's set up right now to where it's anything below Although it's negative the same, though. Decibels. Like, even right now, we're probably, like, it's over there, it's showing 
the audio that it's it's peaking at whatever point yeah. but it still does not sound as good as if it was because it is a directional mic so if it was in front of both of us it sounds more like an actual podcast i can hear myself in the headphones a lot better a lot more clearly and that's going to help me also like i said get in the zone and or whatever like and also i could just be like yo dude this is super important you guys are a bunch of fucking cucks stop buying 10 round magazines and fucking getting 16 inch shoppers for your fucking pistols you bunch of pussy ass bitches and like then maybe it might make more of an effect in the maybe. long term. <laughs> you know, we could we could only but hope if that doesn't work out, then we're looking at buying a fucking board to run them both through the. Which I don't know if you, how often you do watch the Jesse Kazam, but that fucking thing he always promotes, he's like sponsored by it. It's like a little fucking soundboard thing yeah. where like he does the voice changing and all yeah. that shit. A, we should have one of those. We should both have one of those. Well, that's like one of the things I was trying to get when we first started the podcast. Right, but like I don't know that we still even to this day know enough to know which one we because if we can get one of those that also will help us run dual mics as like an yeah. interface and then have the controls on it or whatever, you know that like would be the work. And shout out Pro to, that I was trying to don't get us fuck to listen. Buy I told you you could have done the January. GPU thing about fucking thirty days fucking was, before we started the January, podcast. Bro. Nah, yeah. Nah, you're, he's bullhecking. Don't let him bullheck you like this in front of everybody right I didn't now. show you the messages, bro. Nah, dude. I still got him saved. See, that's I the government stay. shit, bro. Yeah, See, you got to get up. rid of that shit, you got dude. got the receipts, bro. Nah, dude. I always got nah, the that shit's fucked up. <clears throat> I don't be deleting shit. Unless it needs to delete. Nah, it all needs to delete, dude. You're <clears> throat> making throat> it easy on them, bro. They already got it. They got I it thought, saved. I fucking went to the vape shop earlier today. Yeah. And I fucking... I'm not even going to talk about that. I thought I left my phone there. <laughs> and it had been some hours. Because we get busy in that bitch. Mm. People think I'm always on my phone and shit. Because like, I'm some yeah. big YouTube celebrity. Which, like, you know, no big deal. But, like, yeah. <laughs> but like, I really, like, when I'm at work and shit, my phone is in my pocket. Because I'm yeah. writing people up for a gun. I'm showing people a gun. I'm getting people on and off the range. I'm doing whatever the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. And, like, there's shit going on. And I don't have time to sit there and be fucking fiddle-fucking on my phone. And so... And if I am, it's business, either posting for the shop yeah. or doing my own shit for the YouTube side or whatever the fuck. And which today it was so busy, I would meant to release the fucking because it's Wheel Gun Wednesday. Yeah. And I meant to release the 500 Magnum video at like three o'clock. Yeah. And we got so busy, I totally forgot. By the time of fucking, I was off of work and posted it. And like now it's not getting as many views as it probably yeah. would have gotten because it was posted at a bad time. But I still wanted to fucking eke it in on Wheel Gun Wednesday. So, yeah. and that's but either it way, for next Wednesday. Yeah, but either way, like, it's just it's shit like that. Like, it's just it's too much sometimes. Yeah. It's too much sometimes. Fucking need a break. I, as much as you guys think that I am, I'm not Superman. That being said, I've never seen him and me in the same room. But either way. You know, but I, I really do think that the dual, if we can swing it, dude, like, I'm totally down to invest in whatever it is, because yeah. I really do think it is a benefit, and I think yeah. that, you know, and so, I, but... It, it, that was one of the potential plans that I had when I do finally build out the compute as well, is to invest some more into the audio setup with that. Because, like, even though, like, but it, I don't even know... That at least at this point too, that it needs more than this. Yeah. I just think that if like again, if we weren't like even from right here, I could be back yeah. here talking. I'm up close talking. It's well, like then also though, if we do if we do have a setup like that, we could also go the XLR route for the actual uh, like transfer of data, right? So the audio quality on the mic would be better through the xlr cables as opposed to the usb that's in there now too right but even that. even this directionally when it's yeah. used as it's supposed to sounds perfectly fine like yeah. it sounds good yeah so like i said if it's as simple as i can run two different mics as audio inputs on this cool shouldn't be an issue if we do need one of those mixers though that's where we got to look into some shit right but like because, like, that Rodecaster Pro, whatever the fuck I was looking at, it was, like, 500 bucks. There's got to be a way to do it. That... And there's cheaper shit. Well, even well, the people that do shit. the lapel mics and yeah. have two separate lapel mics that are Bluetoothed into whatever, even yeah. your phone. 
they can make work and there's no way that that should cost that much money because i've looked at individual lapel mics and like you can get one for a 100 bucks that's supposed to be dece this the q2u which we should do like an actual review on this we've been using it for how long now for almost a year now right like this is less than 100 bucks it's the best mic for under 100 bucks and I would, I mean, not having so much experience with this kind of shit, like, I'm not disappointed in its performance. No. So, I just recommended it to a buddy of mine that started streaming recently. And what he is set he doing? Up a PC. He set up a PC now. At least he just got it built, and he's waiting on, like, one more part to come in to finish it up. Or he's waiting on his monitor, which I think was coming in today, he was saying. What is he streaming, though? Like, he's what is he doing? doing it all off his Xbox right now, I believe. And, uh, but he's doing the Call of Duty shit. He was playing Gears of War yesterday. He was doing some Genshin Impact. Damn, son. Yeah. We, we were once impacted by we Genshin, were impacted dude. By like, Genshin. severely, dude. They yeah. got our asses. Yeah. It's probably the feds. Yeah. But the fucking... <laughs> what the fucking... What, what's his name? Shout him out. Fuck it. Uh, it's on Twitch. It's Jacopotamus. This is his name on Twitch. This is not Jacob, no. is it? No. His name is Jack. It was funny because when he was telling me about his Twitch thing and everything, his channel, he's doing pretty well. He's got money coming in and everything. He's got it that far. He's got a merch store apparently too. Sick. I haven't checked it out yet, but the uh, Jackapotamus, dude. Yeah, but uh, he was he was talking about how over half of his audience, half his viewership, is gay apparently, and that it's primarily because they like him because the gays are into the bear look. Apparently, is what he was saying. And so he plays into that a little bit. <laughs> a little bit too much, I think. Sometimes. But yeah. I know. It's concerning. It's like when I was at fucking Cheyenne's friend's house or whatever. We were having a fire over there. Oh, and, uh, never had the fire with me. They invited fucking us, Fucking ass. <laughs> but, uh, they had, uh, one of their friends from college who is a fat gay Mexican. We were sitting there talking about how they wanted to go to a gay bar and everything. I'm like, I, I don't care what the fuck you guys do. Go to a gay bar all you want. I'm not going. It's like, oh, why not? You, you'd get eaten up there. I'm like, that's, that's, the problem. Not, that's, that's exactly what I said. That's the issue. It's I don't want that. It's like, you don't want free drinks? Not that way. <laughs> like, fuck no. No. Apparently the, what, are you going to go watch a Cubs game after? What yeah, are you doing? Apparently. Apparently the gay is like the... Slightly chubby, bearded men, you know. Yeah, yeah. I say slightly chubby. Good thing I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm peak male performance. I would argue. <laughs> peak male performance, dude. And apparently they're not worried about the mustache. So <laughs> right. Well, it's it's less to clean off. I guess. <laughs> the fucking like. I don't know what the fuck you got going on. I bet he went that night too. His ass got no, fucking suited fuck off no. three drinks and did some gay shit. Fuck no. Which is fine. No. We don't judge we, here on this we channel. Didn't go nowhere. He went. It did start raining. We went way. into the garage. Damn, in a fucking... confined space with that much homosexual. Yeah. There was only one of them. <laughs> you were still outnumbered, dude. He was gunning no, dude, for that no. ass, quite literally and metaphorically speaking. So I stayed on the opposite side of the room from him. But <laughs> God dang. Started listening to music though in the garage instead of sitting right. by the fire. Fucking Bono and shit. He's fucking... listening to U2. Nah, dude, we've been playing fucking Blink MCR and shit. And I see you lying next to me. They're all the whole night talking about how I'm a fucking redneck and everything, making fun of me. You are, dude. Granted, I was there wearing my, I was wearing my Solomon boots and my fucking multicam LAPG pants. The multi clamps. Yeah, dude. <laughs> You gotta get the fucking multi clamps. So we're we're carrying fucking armor now at the shop after yeah. fucking years of me telling. I, I saw that shit. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's China, by all means. Yeah. But it's legit from all the videos I've seen. Yeah. And it's affordable enough, especially to motherfuckers that are over here worried about fucking. Uh, oh, camera froze. That's great. Hopefully, we fix the lag. But now we got more lag for the camera just completely straight up. Fuck it. Right, but like, it looks like it's looking at us in night vision, it does. which is unnecessary for the feds because we have the lights on. Yeah. So, I don't personally understand. I don't know, man. But we're back. We just never know. Yeah. Well, well, technically, we never left. We didn't. No. The camera. But yeah, we got armor now at the shop. We're selling back. They're 95 doll hairs I saw that. for an armored backpack. 
which is D's. What level, level three A? Level three A. Yeah. So shotguns yeah. and forty four magnum. It's the same shit. Yeah. I keep. This is my mil spec monkey tactical and tailor now, is collaboration it... adapt pack. Now is it and an actual? I keep a level three A armor panel in here because I could use it as a shield. I could flip it around and wear it backwards as chest covering. I could have it on my back while I'm dipping out of a situation. It's armor protection nonetheless. And, uh, you know, plus on top of that, this is 3A, but with all the shit I have in here, hopefully that'll make yeah. it a little bit higher yeah. than 3A, but you never know, and I'm not counting on it, but still, you know. Now, is the actual backpack armor? I got the glizzy. What? Or is it an armored backpack with a, or is it a so, backpack with a plate in it? It's, it's like that. So. It's, uh, it's kind of like both. You can't have the glizzy if you don't have the stizzy. Yeah. For one, that's the rules there. But, um... It looks like I haven't pulled one out, mm -hmm. but it looks like there's a pocket. Yeah. And then it looks like it's a separate plate. Yeah. They're not plate, but whatever yeah. panel. Yeah. I guess you would call it. Um that sits in there like fitted. Yeah. But you it you can take it out. That's why yeah. there's a zipper. So it in theory So like at that point I might buy one just for the fucking plate and then have an extra backpack. So I don't know if I'd want to run that backpack as a daily. You know. It's more, it's set up, it's, it is kind of cool because it does have like a USB thing hanging off the side of it that you can yeah. plug in like chargers or like your laptop or whatever. And like it's it's very gray, man. Quite literally, it's yeah. gray in color. And it doesn't look like a tactical backpack. And there are like pockets and shit on the inside, but it is mainly for like, it's kind of like a school, like a college yeah. backpack. Like yeah. there's a spot for a laptop, there's like mm -hmm. a little charging port, whatever, but it's also got armor in it. Mm -hmm. You could definitely put a gun in it. I fit my scorpion in it. It would even fit with a side folder brace, but like you wouldn't have that much Extra room, room, you know, for a lot of shit. A few mags and some medical or whatever. Um, but then you got armor. But again, that's all you need if yeah. that's what you're carrying that yeah. for. So, um, you know, it's all it's all dependent. But then the helmets and they come with a wrap. I assume you can get them in different colors. But this one's black with a multicam rack yeah. on it. They got uh, they got fuck wrap, not rack. Yeah. But they got arc rails and shit. They're polymer arc rails. I mean, I'm yeah. sure you could swap them out if you want, whatever. It's an aluminum shroud for the night vision or thermal mount. <clears throat> and it's 240 bucks. Yeah. And there's no excuse, even if you're buying that, it's still that cheaper also, than a Wendy bump. Is that also fucking uh, 3A rated? Or? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the helmet's ballistic. It's the same shit as ours. Cool. So, <clears throat> and, you know, whatever. So, it, it's... It is what it is. It's Chinese armor. That being said, people have shot it. It does hold up. It is legit. Is it the best thing in the world? Is it an Xfil? Is it a fucking Team Wendy? Is it an Ops Corps? Is it even an Avon? No. But it's better than just a bump because at least you have the chance of it stopping something or ricocheting something or whatever. And then on top of that, it still provides you with a mounting solution other than the fucking Tom Clancy Splinter Cell head harness shit that nobody wants to wear. So, either way, and it's got adjustable padding, so it's got pads, and then it's got pads on top of the pads in case you got a small head. Yeah. If you don't, take out the first layer of pads, you still got pads, and then you it fits your head. both layers of pads. Right. Yeah, he's got a big knock, but <laughs> fucking, he's got a large egg, yeah. but... Um, for no reason. For just absolutely no There's reason. There's nothing in there. Right, right. It's just a void <laughs> space, dude. It's just fucking... It's like when Stewie went to purgatory or whatever. It's just there's nothing. Yeah, yeah precisely. Hello, hello. But, I mean, it's, again, it's a solution. And I've been saying we should carry backpacks. We should carry belts. Yep. We should carry fucking mag pouches and chest rigs and armor and shit for years. Yep. And then finally. They got the belts now, too. Yeah, we got the core belts, dude. Did I tell, ever welcome. tell you I bought one of them? No. Yeah. Have you been trying it ago. out, dude? I have been. Yeah? yeah? Tell me it's not legit. It is legit, for sure. I was worried about cutting it to length and shit and fucking it up, but it all worked out. Yeah. yeah. Well, you sweet. always start big and go small. Yeah. You can fine-tune yeah. it. But yeah, you have to tune it enough, because eventually, like the one I'm wearing now, mm -hmm. the gray one, is still too long for me. Yeah. And like it bottoms out, and like it's still loose from time to time. Yeah. But if I shove a gun in there... And I'm carrying appendix, which lately I've been lazy and I've been just pocket carrying the bodyguard yeah. because I always got a gun in the bag and then another gun in the bag and then another gun in the truck. And then it's so 
like I'm not gunless, right? Yeah. This is just to get me to my real handgun, yeah. which gets me to my rifle or whatever, you know. So that's why I set it up to where like when I'm tightened down, nothing in the waistband, nothing like that. It's right dead center yeah. on the track, right? And then that way, if I do have something, I should have the expandability to make that. Work. Right, but I got a new one. They sent me one in multicam black. Yeah. And then they sent me their duty belt, and then they sent me their war belt. And I'm currently building out the war belt, and uh, I'm piecing together. A few I'm probably gonna get some Mars carriers from T Rex, and I have already some prototype shit from Harry's Hulse yeah. in the AR variety. I've got an SOE fucking surefire pouch. I've got. I'm gonna get the probably the T-Rex arms med pouch no. and then um, probably their dump pouch. And then probably, I mean, I already have Safari land shit, but like I, I do want to try out the Ragnarok shit, especially since it's so quick. I could just unclip one. Yeah. And now I got a Glock 17. Now I got a 1911. Now I got a HK. Now I got it. Yeah. So, and I like that, you know, yeah. which it's somewhat similar with, I mean, you could still do it with a Safari land, but the Ragnarok is a little bit cheaper, yeah. and I don't see, really, I don't need fucking level 18 retention, you know? So, but either way, um, but yeah, it's just, they're, they're pretty solid. I'm pretty sure they're made overseas. Yeah. But. I haven't seen anything otherwise, at least. Right. So, and you would think they'd be proud, made in America, you know? So, it is what it is. And I still swear by a special operations equipment EDC belt or EDC low profile belt. Like there, it's probably just, one of the I best belts on the market. I got tired of fucking trying to get the Cobra buck through my pant. Right, and that's the thing. It's a convenience thing, yeah. and but like it really does work. And honestly, like it, it works as a, it's not as stiff as a SOE belt or even some of the other belts on the still, market. But it works. An EDC belt and again, is more than enough. I fucking. Like, I'm not even trying to fucking be a homosexual, but, like, this thing, I got the fucking K-bar on it. Yeah. But, like, this, there goes the K-bar. This. Yeah. It works. I've had this for how many years? This is the first one yeah. they sent me. It's been a, this is the fr probably like a long time. Or more. A long time. Three and, like, more. really, like, you see here. And I'm this is I'm gonna be doing reviews on all this shit in the future. Like it's a little bit of fraying, yeah. you know, whatever. The buckle's got the some buckle, scratches, yeah. and right here appendix on the inside, you can see where the clip yeah. wears on it. Yeah. But like other than that, it still holds its shape, its, it's form. It holds like so, and it's lighter weight. It's not as thick. And they're I not that loop expensive it through. Either. It's not. It's like it's forty to sixty bucks. Shit. Yeah, and you get it when you fucking order it. Yeah. You don't have to wait fucking. And you can get different fucking. You get different too. bucks, you get, you get, get different, different buckles, you get leather if you gotta do a fucking, shit. you know, something classier shit. Like, it's yeah. just, it's really, I told you, dude, I wasn't yeah. lying. I don't know. Fucking, it's decent shit. But it again, is. it's overseas produced, I'm yeah. sure. I don't know if it's China or fucking where it is, but, I mean, it works. Yeah. Do, <clears throat> do you even carry the K-Bar anymore, dude? I never did. Why not? Because. Why not? I don't have one. You do? I got the space, space yeah, force, fucking edition, space dude. force shit. Carrie, dude, stop safe queening. I don't even know what the fuck it is right now. It was right there if you want. Just no, it's back there by the piano. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, now that being said, are there better belts? Are there other belts? Are there yeah. stiffer belts? Of course, but for an actual EDC belt that can look like a regular belt, doesn't okay. scream gun belt, is comfortable, adjustable. And still going to hold up. Like, I, in my pockets, have a gun, two spare mags, wallet, a key bar, truck keys, phone, fucking vapes, fucking all types of shit. Knives. Like, knives. Knives. Fucking <laughs> all types of shit. Like, and it works. It does. It works. That it does. You know? And it's way more comfortable. I still so, love it when we get into talking about fucking belts and bags and shit. It sounds like a bunch of women. But... Well, I mean, these are the things that, like, like I don't know. Even if you don't carry it with you into places you go or whatever, you should still have a bag full of useful items with you every day in the vehicle, whatever. If you got to leave somewhere on foot, you need a way to carry the shit that you may or may not need. Okay, backpacks. They're as old as time, dude. Fucking grab your ass a fucking stick with a satchel on it. Fucking whatever. But like, yep. 
And it needs it. I've had how long have I had this, dude? Since before you knew me. Yeah. And this bitch held like I bought it's it's a quality brand. It's yeah. tactical tailored. And mil spec bunk. And it bolts straight into a play carrier as well with the swift clip, so it's nice you can use it as an assault pack. I would still always run the straps because I like being able to take it on and off and actually yeah. access my shit or ditch it if necessary. But I've had this for literally years upon years, yep. and it works great. And you know what? It wasn't the cheapest thing, nope. but it holds up. It's got some wear and tear here yeah. and there. Yeah, and it's got some stains and some whatever, but it's, it's holds all my shit. Yep. It's not going to fall apart. So I don't even know how many fucking backpacks I got. I got around. so many backpacks that, like, I can't even use them all. Yeah. And while they might sit there full of shit, like, I've never even carried them. Yeah. So, but it, you have to have that kind of shit. You have yep. to have fucking, I mean... It's just simple day one shit. Like, I don't know how people leave the house without a flashlight or a pocket knife. I could even understand not taking a gun. And, like, I can't. But, like, I get it if a, you can't, quote unquote, because the powers that should not be told you you couldn't, even though you still can. Or, you know, whatever. Or maybe you're going to a courthouse, which, again, you couldn't bring a knife either. But, like, still a, a fucking pen. a pen, a light, and a knife. On top of your keys and your phone and your other mandatory bullshit. But, like, how people, grown men, walk around without a pocket knife in their pocket or a flashlight or whatever. Like, how the fuck? Everybody's too... If the fucking lights go out or if something needs cut or pride or whatever, what the fuck are you going to do? Hey, does anybody have a knife? You don't. You know? Like, I can't tell you how many times everybody wants to look down the barrel of a gun and check the rifling and shit. Hey, you got a light? Where's that's yours? That's it. always the first question, though. You have a knife? Why right. don't you have one? <laughs> I don't get it. Especially, it's the biggest, it's bothered me. Because, like, since I was, like, 10 years old, it's a question every Christmas morning. Go over to my grandmother's house. Dude, I have knives... <laughs> That cost hundreds of dollars. I've had knives that cost, I didn't pay for that, but thousands of dollars is what they were worth. Yeah. This is a $40 cold steel Airlite pocket knife. A little bit of jean stuck in the clip. With a little bit of jean stuck. The fucking, <laughs> I got no fucking jean left because of these fucking cold steel clips. But like, <clears throat> it's, uh, this is a quality knife. Yeah. It's made overseas yeah, and whatever, but it's a decent enough steel. It's a strong enough lockup. It's, it's a sharp. Edge, it's sharp. It's, I could fight with this. I could work with this. I could cut cheesecake or the string off my shirt or apparently my jeans or whatever. It's forty bucks. Like you, did, I wouldn't go carrying no gas station bullshit. But you can get a knife. You don't have to spend even a hundred dollars on a knife to get a halfway decent knife. You could buy a ten dollar fucking Mora and shove it in your back pocket and shut the fuck up about it. Carry a fucking knife. Carry a light. Carry a gun. Some of these motherfuckers can't even carry a conversation. Nope. And then they try and do a podcast it. and shit, you know? It's like yeah. us. <laughs> but like... <clears throat> but no, since I was like fucking 10 years old, Christmas morning, me and my grandpa are the only ever motherfuckers carrying a knife. What, do you have an old timer? Yeah. It's always a slip joint of some kind. I've never actually paid much attention because ha I've always had my I'm own. I'm a case fan myself, but yeah. the straight old timer is also a classic. Yeah. Um... There's a lot yeah, of I've, I've even got one of them kissing Swiss crane. Army knife A locks. Those, those I'm a kissing huge crane fan of. slip joints. I got a Christmas one specifically that I carry on Christmas Day. Probably not the best idea for when I'm handing off to somebody else who doesn't know what the fuck they're doing to open up some kid's toy. But it's always what, what ends up happening. Natural selection. Yeah. What it's happens what happens. Is. is what it is at that point. Yeah. You know? But it's got a blunt tip on it at least. So. Right. One of the edges does. <laughs> It's a multiple edged fucking yeah. scenario. Yeah. It's a two bladed slip joint. Oh, it's two blades. I thought yeah. you meant it was like a bayonet blade. No. no okay, no. I was gonna say then how do you close it? <laughs> no, it's got it's got two blades on it. Well most of them do, a lot of them do. Yeah. Yeah. So if not even single three. edged ones. Yeah, no, there are there's fucking four or five, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. all all numbers of things. Yeah, it's almost like a Swiss army knife at that point. Yeah. Which I myself still love a good Swiss army knife, yeah. dude. It might not be as tough and durable as a Leatherman. Yeah. No. But, like, it's also... Although, I'll tell you this. I Speaking of which, I'm going to have to fucking order another one of these, dude. Because the yeah. fucking... I lost the skay. 
to the <laughs> to the fucking long term review update coming soon to the micro classic SD of the fucking Swiss Army knife. For how long you had that motherfucker riding on the keys, dude? Years, yeah, years. The same fucking woodland for, slash flectarn style. For Fifteen dollars. Fifteen. Not sick. even. I think I paid twelve bucks for Damn, this bro. at the Meyer, dude. And that shit's been sitting on your keys for years. Uh, just I now lost the fucking. And really, all I had to do was super glue some shit, yeah. and it would have been fine. Maybe some Loctite or something. But I still have all the tools. I have the file, the screwdriver, the knife. You should lost still got, or some tweezers. No, I've got the toothpick. Two. I lost the tweezers. Okay. And then I got the sizz, dude. And the still, I use this every single fucking day. If I got a weird fucking beard hair going on or something, I could just snip it off, dude. Or if I'm opening a let, or if I need... You know what this little tiny screwdriver is great for? What? Adjusting fucking red dots. They That's all got true. that little tiny That's fucking... True. All the hollow suns and the trigicons yeah. and the fucking left right center, you fucking do it. Yeah. And like, yeah, you could use the fucking rim of a cartridge or something, but like, I could just bust this out yeah. and like, I could get in there and really do what I gotta do. I use this fucking thing every day, several times a day, dude, and it is more than paid for itself a million times over. Like, I, I used to carry one. Something as simple as a little tiny fucking Swiss Army knife on your keys could quite literally save the day, and motherfuckers won't even do that. I used to carry one of the Swiss Army knives, but then I started carrying a Leatherman. And I felt redundant. Two is one, one is none, three is even better. Yeah. If you notice, I got a flashlight on those keys. Yeah. I also have a flashlight on the key bar. I have a flashlight on both sets of keys that I got. I have a flashlight on the key, dude. Yeah. And then I've got a f an admin flashlight and a fighting yeah. flashlight. I have four flashlights in my pockets at all times, plus I got more of them in the bag. I got another gun in the bag. I got more mags in the bag. I got armor in the bag. I got medical. I got more admin shit. I got survival shit. I got fucking... I got a pocket sword in there. Yeah. I've got a Kimber Pepper Blaster. I got mechanics gloves. I got a fucking... Like, I got whatever I might need. And it's... Yeah, it's all tactical shit and whatever the fuck. But, like, you use that gloves. You're worried. You break down on the side of the road. You fucking put some gloves on. Otherwise, you're going to fuck shit up worse and hurt yourself and whatever. Like... Just simple shit. Like, it's like the dude the fucking How came hard is it? When I was fucking putting the headlights in his Mustang. He's sitting out here bitching about how cold it is and everything. All he needs gloves and shit. I just threw him a fucking mechanics gloves. Told, told him to stop bitching. Right. He's fucking still complaining about it. It's cold and shit. I had to take a break to go into his fucking car. Start up the engine and shit. Fucking right. Like you fucking. How in the hell? I should look at him like, that's that African blood and yane. And ain't, <laughs> ain't built for the cold, is it? Right. You know, he's like. How long you been living in Chicago, motherfucker? Right. Do you still work, c complain about the cold? It was like fucking 60 degrees out. I barely threw on I'd a fucking hoodie. I'd be outside naked. I barely threw on a hoodie. Right. <laughs> I was fucking... <laughs> the first time it started snowing this year, I had to fucking take the trash cans out to this fucking street. I had to walk out. I think in these fucking basketball shorts I'm wearing now and no shirt on and the sandals I'm wearing too. I okay, walked out there. It's a hell of a show for the names. Yeah, yeah completely. Had, had to show, I, had, I had to show eyes. the new knaves what's up. You know, right, he's fucking, just asserting his dominance exactly. in the name. But <laughs> fucking, <laughs> then I'm like, you know, I should probably wear a shirt at least. It's snowing. Probably. you know, But not even but because it was snowing, just, just for everybody else. Yeah, yeah. And their sake alone. It's what it is sometimes, bro. Just Especially shower, like you know? with snow blindness yeah. is a real thing. Yeah. And your white and ass I'm on top of it, the dude. Snow, the reflection, yeah, the rate of reflection know. off the sun rays. It's blinding. Blinded. It was dark and shit, so God forbid, like, <coughs> you're driving past their headlights on, bro. Right. It's going to reflect right back at them. They're yeah, going to go off the road into the ditch. Right, because they were probably already texting somebody exactly. while driving anyway. Exactly. So, which should be totally legal. But also, don't be mad when you fucking die because of yeah. that. And I do it all the time. I'm pretty good at it. Sometimes I do the you're both not, hand tests. You're, you're not as no, good I as you the, think you are. I do are the both hand tests, and I steer with the knee. You are not as good as you think you are. On the highway. Right, no, I'm pretty good. <laughs> no. Have we ever crashed? Just damn near. shut up. <laughs> 20 miles an hour down fucking this street down here and fucking swerving. No, oh, dude. That's just, bro. I'd be bending corners, bro, because I'd be whipping it, dude. Like it's stolen, dude. That's what I do. Like, it scares me sometimes, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just fucking testing your gangster, dude. I got to see if you're really down to ride. Try music running and shit. Fucking. Sometimes, dude, they're not playing the right beat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just want to hear a certain track. I'm trying to throw just... the maps on and shit. I'm like, dude, just let me type it in. <laughs> We've never died, though. No, not yet. So I can't hear you from playing. That ain't how I want to go, though. <laughs> right, but either way, you'd be all right. Oh, man. Yeah. 
So this is this is the forty seventh podcast. It is the forty seventh podcast because they don't make a forty six. Don't make a forty six. We clearly neither stated we. that. No, neither do we. Just out of principle alone. Yeah. So, either way, I feel as if we've accomplished next to nothing. Yeah, as usual. Everybody's still gonna want ten round mags and sixteen inch uppers for yep. their pistols. Uh, everybody has already serialized their ghost guns yep. and registered everything with the state. Yeah. And the federal government, just to be extra sure. And like we're just, I feel like we're here, stranded on like an island, yeah. but like that island has a million people, and they're all fucking retarded, you know. So, either way, we'll leave you with that, folks. And until next time, on the forty eighth episode, because they sure as fuck don't make a forty six. It's the greatest handgun I've ever devised, people. I tell you, two world wars. They all fall to the hardball. And don't you fall for the fuckery, people. Live as constitutionally as you feel comfortable. And you better start fucking putting your slippers and your robes on, bitches. Because this is America last time I checked. All right, people. You have to pay with blood, sweat, and tears the freedoms that are not free. Chip in once in a while. That's all we ask. We'll see you on the next one. We love you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Nine millimeter master race. I'll fuck it up.